Hello, my beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, my beautiful Cancers. I haven't done a Cancer reading in so long. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I'm still trying very hard to invest and be persistent in these um, zodiac sign readings because everybody loves them, but I just have to be more consistent. Um, but thank you, Cancers. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, please keep your head up high. Things will get better. All right. So let's see what's going on for my beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Um, so these zodiac signs that I post, it's for your Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. If you don't know your Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, um, check out the description box. I did put a link. Um, it's called Astrology Cafe. This is not sponsored. It's just a really good website that, that provides free birth charts. So I linked it in the description box. If you don't know your birth chart, you can just check out your sun, moon, Venus, or rising so that you'll be able to watch various um, zodiac readings. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Message for Cancer, sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Message for Cancer, let me see here. Five of Swords or Five of Wands. Cancer, what's going on with you? What's going on with you, Cancer? No, let me do it like this. Two of Wands. Mm, something awaits for you, Cancer. Something awaits for you, Temperance. Something awaits for you. That's what I'm hearing. I know things have been tough. Five of Wands is conflict and drama. Tell us more about this. I feel like the, the tables have turned in your favor, as in you now have the upper hand and there's someone who's desperate to apologize to you, okay? It's almost like the wheel of fortune. Um, you're now at the top of the wheel, getting all the fortune, the favor, the, the luck, and then that your, your person's at the bottom. Whoever was causing you trouble, they're at the bottom of the wheel where they're experiencing misfortune. Um, and I can show you because that's the reference that I'm getting even though it didn't show up, but that's just how I'm seeing your reading. Let me see if we can find it here. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune, where are you? If we don't find it, then it's okay. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> it's like you're at the top of the wheel, getting the fortune. They're now at the bottom of the wheel, getting the misfortune. And it looks like this battle is over. The battle's over, so don't let your mind keep you stuck on the battlefield when it has now ended. And what do I mean by that? You're about to start a new beginning, but you won't realize it if mentally you're still stuck in the past and mentally you still think that there's conflict. So the five of wands, conflict, drama, maybe even competition, but you're finding your way out of it, two of wands. Two of wands is trying to get a sense of direction and something awaits for you. I heard it and now I'm hearing it again. And it's an ace of pentacles. It's a blessing that's coming out of the hands of the most high, the helping hands of the most high. And the ace of pentacles represents... Um, a financial blessing. It's a gift of prosperity. So your finances are going to increase in some way, shape, or form. It could be a, fin a financial opportunity, job, job promotion. Um, but just know that you're going to prosper, especially financially with this Ace of Pentacles. Uh, it could even represent a windfall of money with the Ace of Pentacles. So then you have the Temperance, which is all about peace and harmony. So it's like what the divine is saying is you you should be paying attention to this blessing that he has for you and not the conflict that's now behind you. And even if the conflict is still going on, 
you don't have to direct to directly be a part of it. You can remove yourself from anything that makes you uncomfortable. Anything that makes you unhappy, you can remove yourself. So I don't feel like the conflict is like over, but you don't have to be directly connected to the conflict anymore. You can remove yourself and focus on the things of God. Focus on what God has for you with the Ace of Pentacles. He has a blessing of prosperity and it's a gift. It's a reward for all that you've been through. You deserve it. And it's this blessing that's actually going to officially remove you out of this conflict. And what do I mean by that? It's this financial opportunity that's completely going to separate you from these chaotic people, places, and things. You will be, there's a, there's a, there's a division that's going on. You're going to be separated from the conflict through this gift, through this blessing. And you're going to have a lot of peace and harmony in your life. So start focusing on what God has for you. Even if there's still conflict, drama, and chaos, you don't have to attend to it. You don't have to give it your attention. Okay? You can start directing your focus on what God has for you. Now you have this chaotic person here. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. You are, you're at a place in your life where you are finding peace or you're trying to find peace and peace will find you. You just have to watch your mind, discipline your mind. Don't focus on negative things. Don't give your energy or attention to negative people, places, and things. Focus on your blessings. I keep on hearing that. Now, when it comes to your person, however way they're connected to you, friend, family, lover, enemy, take it how it resonates. But this individual, it's so interesting because your energy can't be used as a scapegoat. Your energy can't be used anymore. Like you were carrying unnecessary burdens. Well, I don't want to call it unnecessary burdens because you learned what you needed to learn from the experience. So it didn't happen for nothing. It wasn't really a waste of time because I really feel like you acquired a lot of you acquired a lot of wisdom and knowledge and, and experience. And it was just meant to be experience for you, not something long lasting, not something that you're meant to be dragged in for, for a long time. You know, um, now that your energy is removed, there's been a shift. Now the burden's falling on the person who is at fault. It looks like someone here, your energy was being used as something, something here. Like your energy was being used as, um, I don't know, either a scapegoat, if not a scapegoat, there's something here where because you were present in this conflict, someone didn't have to take accountability for what they did. Okay, so I don't know if scapegoat is, is the word, but it's almost like you were being used as a shield. You were protecting, in a way, your energy was shielding a problematic person. But now that you've removed yourself from this conflict, you're no longer being used as a shield to protect a person who is in the wrong. I feel like because you were present in a situation, all the attention was on you. Okay? There's something that's... Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what I heard. So your presence was being used as a distraction. Yeah. You were being used as a distraction. But now that you've removed yourself... There's no more distraction and someone has to take accountability for what they did. So it's like, just fall back. Just fall back, slowly ease your way out of this drama and conflict. It's not your fight. Slowly ease your way out. And all of the bad attention is gonna go on this person over here. Their energy's, their energy's at the bottom of the deck. So the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, they're going through it. But I feel like in the past, you were in this uh, wounded warrior pose because you had, it's almost like you stepped in in someone else's drama. And it was probably to help them, to enlighten them, to inspire them to make better decisions. Okay, so it's like, it wasn't really your battle, but you, you stepped into it. Uh, maybe as the peacemaker, the mediator, you know, but you can't do the work for people. You can you can help them as much as they want to be helped and you can inspire them, but you can't sacrifice yourself for people. And it's so interesting because the more your energy fades, as in the more you back out of this, whoever these people are, they're going to stop focusing on you and they're going to focus on the, the, the real person who's the troublemaker. 
And now this person will have no choice but to actually do the work on themselves because this whole time you were the one shielding them. You were the one being used as a distraction from the real problem who is them. Okay? You can't do the work for them and you can't make the decision for them. So now this person is being put on the hot seat. That's why they're in the nine of wands because people are no longer looking at you. They're no longer distracted by you. Nine of wands are in this wounded warrior pose. They're in the hot seat. Um, they're even feeling maybe paranoid, defensive, traumatized. Um, then you have the six of cups. You know exactly who this person is. You have some sort of history, past, or familiarity. Even if this is a newer person, you had some sort of encounter with them. Okay, there's familiarity. So you definitely know who this person is with the Six of Cups. Um, let's clarify the Six of Cups. The Hierophant. Yeah, you know exactly who they are. The Hierophant, they could be a Taurus. They don't have to be a Taurus, but they could be. Um, they could also be someone who's powerful and influential. Maybe they have like a high ranking or high position. Um, in their occupation. Um, but the Hierophant could also represent someone who's very traditional and very committed to their role, job, position, and obligations. Um, you know, the Hierophant is there to serve the people. So take that how it resonates. Um, the Hierophant could also represent a commitment. It symbolizes marriage. Okay, so take it how it resonates. I'm throwing several things out there that I'm seeing because everyone's situation is different. But yeah, you know this person, Two of Cups. You, you came eye to eye with them, Two of Cups. And with the Knight of Swords, clarify the Knight of Swords, you have everything is fine. Clarify the Knight of Swords. So now this person's intervening, but I feel like they were supposed to intervene a long time ago, but they felt like they didn't because you were fighting their battle. Yeah, don't do that. They're not going to learn anything if you do that. Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Now this person feels the need to like speak up, intervene, take action. The Eight of Pentacles is work. So this could be happening in a workplace or, or they're doing work. They're doing work to intervene. They're doing the work to resolve this issue. Yeah. And they had, the thing is they had the power. They, they had the power to do it. But because you were present, they were, they were fine. You were fighting their battle. And don't regret it. I'm sure you were doing it for the right cause. You know, don't regret it. But you just got to know when to pull back in these sorts of situations. Clarify the Knight of Swords. So the Fool is a risk taker. Now this person's willing to take all the risks that they weren't willing to take because they were so comfortable with you being present and fighting their battles. The Page of Swords. Let me see here. Oh yeah, this person's doing the work. This person may even be getting in confrontations with people. I see that a little bit. They're really trying to take charge so much to the point where they're showing up as the devil. Control. And they're having to take extreme control over the situation because they kind of waited a bit too long to do it. So now maybe so much damage has been caused that they really do have to assert themselves in a controlling way. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, the Ace of Wands. I feel I see this person speaking with a lot of power and authority. Finally, they're using their power and authority to do what's right. I think they're also very fearful. Something here really could have gotten out of hand and they were comfortable and didn't care to really see things that way until it got bad and you removed yourself. Yeah, there's some fear here now. 
yeah, now this person, <laughs> now they're coming from a place of um, the King of Cups is all about feelings and emotions, empathy, compassion. King of Cups is a di diplomatic person who strives to do what's right. Now they're being understanding. I, I think there's some fear that they're hiding. It's like a situation that has escalated and they could have done something about it earlier, but they waited. And now they're seeing how bad the situation really is. So they're taking all the action that they can that they didn't take before, which is why they're here as the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords represents a swift action taker, someone who can even be very aggressive and military-like, right? So now they're like, uh-oh, I have to do some damage control. And there's a little bit of fear, Page of Swords and Ace of Wands. This person knows that something got out of hand. They know it. They absolutely know it. Now they're not just looking at themselves or looking at the money. I don't know what the situation is, but they're actually being compassionate now and they're trying to do what's right because something here has escalated. Something's gone too far. Yeah, 10 of wands. Ten of Wands. Tell us more. Seven of Cups. The Lovers. The High Priestess. Wow. Hmm. I think now that they're playing cleanup, there's a lot to clean up. That's what happens when you wait too long to intervene. More damage will be caused. And the, the Ten of Wands is burdens and stress and baggage. Seven of Cups, they're looking at it. They're, it's like they're looking at a big pile of mess. You know, Seven of Cups, this person now sees things clearly. The Seven of Cups is weighing your options, um, doing a lot of thinking, clarity. The high priestess, they're wide awake. Their intuition's wide open. They're seeing exactly what they need to see now. Wow. Then you have the lovers, which represents a choice. They do have a choice to make. The lovers represents a choice. It could represent a soulmate bond or connection. But in this case, it's representing a choice. Because this person, they have the final say when it comes to this situation. But they weren't, they weren't, you know utilizing their power and authority to intervene so yeah now they are <laughs> now they are justice the emperor <laughs> now they are the emperor is like the father you know when your father has to step into discipline you know you're in trouble you know, the emperor is all about taking charge, asserting yourself, taking control. Yeah. Um, the emperor is the authority figure and then justice. He's trying to get things right with the justice card. Balance and fairness, getting what you deserve. But what, what took this person so long? And please know that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody. But what, look, death, yeah. They're making decisions now, okay? He's definitely, he or she's definitely making decisions now, you know? And and if there was a choice that he wasn't willing to make or she wasn't willing to make, I'm saying he because this person's in their masculine energy. So regard, regardless of genders, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. They just tend to come out depending on our circumstance. Um, but he's now taking action like he's making decisions that he wasn't willing to make and the death represents major endings that lead to transformations yeah major endings that lead to transformation so he's cutting out a lot um but what took him so long or what took her so long to intervene i really want to know Four of Wands.
Ace of Cups. What took him so long? Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. What took him so long to intervene? Death. You know what took him so long to intervene? Look at you, the Empress. You know who this is. You wanna know something about your person? <laughs> you have a big influence on your person, whether you know it or not, but you need to, you need to know it so you can exercise your power and influence. If you're happy, they're happy. But the second you become dissatisfied and unhappy, they do something about it. The reason why your person wasn't taking action is because they felt like <laughs> your person is a little bit selfish. There could be problems, but as long as it's not affecting you, the one who they love, they don't care to fix it. If it's affecting other people, they don't care. But the second they found out, the minute they found out that it was affecting you, that's when they were like, oh no, I'm stepping in. But why? I don't, I don't understand people with that mentality. Why only care when the, problem, the, when the problem is affecting you? You don't have to, I don't think that's a good mentality to have because if you have to wait for something to start affecting you before you can care, then that means that something's gone a bit too far. So why not care? Like if you see that it's affecting others, why not prevent? Why not step in, okay? And try to resolve the issues. And that way it'll prevent you from, from getting harmed and others from getting harmed. But to only care be, because something's affecting you and not care when it's affecting others, I don't feel like that's, um, I don't think that's a progressive um, mentality to have. Um, I'm always about putting out the fire before it can even start, okay? Um, and even if you see the fire, put it out before it spreads, before it gets really, really bad. Um, because again, you know, if it starts harming you, that means the damage, too much damage has been caused. Like by the time you notice it, that means it's harming you. And then you try to do something about it, but then you look at all the damage that's been caused because you waited too long. Does that make sense? Um... Taking preventative measures, I guess that would be the method that I like. Um, you know, ending ending things before it can even start. Ending bad things, putting an end to bad things. I always teach about um, uprooting or unrooting the the weeds, the bad weeds, because they spread like wildfire. You know, um, once that fire spreads. It's hard extinguishing it. It's it's really, really hard. So, but I think your person's a bit selfish where they knew some, some things were going on, but they didn't, they didn't care until they noticed that it started affecting you and that's when they stepped in. So imagine if you hadn't said anything. So I see, I see why you were intervening. I, I, Cause I feel like you stepped into something that wasn't necessarily your battle but you're such a selfless person and you're such an empath you were fighting this battle for the for the good for the greater good of all because you know that there are people being affected and you could see the future you knew that this is a situation that would have gotten out of control so you stepped in and that's what you were called to do by the way you used your power and influence your voice to not just help yourself but to help others because I'm sure the people who were getting harmed by this, maybe they were shouting and screaming and trying to, you know, get help, but nobody cared. So it's like you use your voice for the voiceless, you use your power for the powerless, and you use your influence for those who don't have as much influence. And isn't that what we're called to do, right? Um, and... Clearly something here just went out of hand. Something something here got out of hand. And um, because you were hurt, because it was you shouting and screaming and raising your voice, your person now 
became serious about it. They, they actually started to care because it's someone who they care for. So the Four of Wands, I'm like, why did it take them so long? Because Four of Wands is, is happiness, redemption, celebrations, togetherness. Your person thought everything's fine with you and them, so they don't care about what's going on with other people. The Ace of Cups, this new beginning, love, happiness. You know, the fulfillment, the joy. I mean, they thought you were good. Your person's just looking at you. But then I think something happened where you're like, I'm going, I'm leaving, I can't be here, I can't take this. And that's when they're like, huh? Let me look more into this. Let me look more into what's bothering my person. Because you definitely told them that you wanted to leave or you didn't want, like there's something with, the death is an ending. This person feels like if they don't get to the bottom of this, you're going to leave. And you're their empress. <laughs> the emperor and the empress. I think your person tends to live in a bubble sometimes. And as they live in that bubble, and as long as they're fine and everybody in that bubble is fine, they don't really care to acknowledge what's going on with other people. Your person did show up as a higher font, so maybe they are maybe they are high ranking in a way. Maybe this person is like some sort of high position or status. Um and that's just what tends to happen with people who are of higher status. They just kind of live in their own world and they don't know what's going on with the people. Like imagine like a pyramid, you know, many times like the CEO who's at the top of the pyramid, a traditional business hierarchy, doesn't really know what's going on with the employees on the sales floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The VP doesn't know either. <laughs> so it's almost like they're in a separate world. But I feel like you were caught in between two worlds and you saw something and you definitely used your voice and power. I feel like everything's gonna be fine. You know, I, I feel like, let me see here. I definitely love your character. I really do. Seven of Pentacles. This was all like learning experience. I'm telling you, there's a reason why you were caught in the middle and you saw some things. I feel like you're going to be utilizing the wisdom that you acquired, that you gained. You're going to be utilizing it in the future for another situation. Trust and believe that. Nothing happens for just, nothing happens for no reason. The Eight of Cups, walking away from an investment. That's what the Eight of Cups is. But it could also represent experience. So let me clarify this Eight of Cups. You are very committed to the cause, committed to learning what you need to learn in order to fulfill your purpose. Three of Swords. Wow. Heartbreak, disappointment, the world, a successful completion. You needed to see certain things. Like I said, your person's in their own world. They don't, they weren't seeing what you were seeing, you know, but you, it's like you saw it because it was supposed to give you some wisdom. Now you have this level of understanding that others don't have. And the world, a successful completion that leads to your positive desire, your positive results, your desirable outcome. This means that you're ready for your next new beginning, which is your Ace of Pentacles. Look, Wheel of Fortune, this was fated to happen. It was a learning experience. Don't be, don't take it too harsh on yourself. Just know that you did everything that you're called to do. You stepped in before the enemy can cause the kind of damage that they wanted to cause. And you used your voice, your power, and influence for good. Man, I feel like God is so proud of you. The tower is here. Something here has already ended. You put an end to it. Relax. Relax. You're not on that battle. You're not in that battle anymore. The truth already came out. And there will be changes. Yeah, judgment. There will be changes. Positive changes because of... You, six of wands, the victor. <laughs> wow, you did a very good job. And now I want you to rest your mind and again, focus on this blessing that God has for you. Focus on your new beginning and try to, you know, mentally let, let, let it go. 
I don't want you to enter this new beginning and your mind is still trapped in the past. So I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you so very much, Cancer. My beautiful, lovely Cancers. I hope you enjoy the reading. Um, and if you're interested in connecting with me more, all my info will be in the description box. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.